you guys number today. I don't even need a number. I'm just fanboy. I'm going to basketball. So, what are we doing here? Well, it was my birthday yesterday, um, and I got a new camera. And a really good friend of mine, and then Chris Mount, um, moved to Australia about 18 months, two years ago, I reckon. Um, and we were good mates, we rode together, uh, we served in the military together, well I say together, we were both in the military at the same time, uh, we did more riding together than anything. Um, we were both part of the Army Downhill Development Team um, and the Army Downhill Team for a couple of seasons, we raced together um, and went to sort of different events together and luckily he's managed, managed to make it back once, we've managed to catch up once as well. Um, but we still keep in contact via Facebook and all that kind of stuff. Now, we thought it would be a really cool idea um, for us to sort of video document what we're doing when we're riding um, and then we can sort of show each other um, exactly what we've been up to. And YouTube's massive as well anyway, so if we put it on YouTube then maybe some other people would be interested too. Um, everyone loves watching Bren Dog and Laconda Guy and all that doing massive jumps and backflips and World Cup runs and stuff like that. But for the mere mortals like us, there's not really that many just normal riders out there. So anyway, I digress. Uh, like I said, we I've not seen him for a long time. And since then, I've got a new bike. So I'm going to do a bike check and show you a little bit of sort of uh, my workshop, if you can call it a workshop. Um, and then maybe some riding, some manuals or something, we'll see. Um, so, let's get to it. Cool, so to start off, I've got a little bit of memorabilia. Uh, this one I bought for another mate of mine, Matt, for his birthday. Um, and he had it up in his flat, because uh, he was a big Atherton fanboy. Uh, unfortunately, when he had to move... Actually, no, that's not right. I bought him this as a present. Um, and he had it up in his flat and then a couple of years later me and him went to the Fort William World Cup um, and I actually won this jersey as well as a bike at the time on a on like a what bike challenge um, and I gave it to him so that he had the pair and he had them up in his flat um, and he had to leave he moved at some point to to uh, look after his daughter and he didn't have them and he asked me if I wanted to if I'd look after them and and put them somewhere safe so yeah 100 percent I'm not gonna let them go unfortunately this one fell off the wall it's actually not got any glass in it uh, but it's all good uh, sort of like a little workstation that I've got just a normal part tool tool kit um, everything you need in there for all kinds of maintenance. Uh, this is probably the most uh, important uh, tool in there though, the uh, the BO2 bottle opener Mark II. I've not seen a Mark I, uh, but the, the Mark II is pretty good, so, so we'll keep hold of that. A couple of spare parts, some cleaning products down there. Uh, this is my riding bag, actually now, mate. Um, Instead of taking a massive rucksack, although it carries everything that, that I sort of need if I'm going to go anywhere. Torque wrench for getting the front wheel on and off. Shock pump. Tire pressure gauge. Tire levers, you never know. This is important actually, um, but I'll come back to that later. Spare volume spacer. Um, shock adjuster. Small Allen key set. Um... Spoke key in case I need to tighten anything up, that's rubbish. Uh, another Allen key and a lighter and a little knife in case I need it. Uh, and I can normally get a water bottle in there as well in this bag. And that'll uh, pretty much everything that I need. Got a proper Allen key set for when I'm in here and like a few lubes and stuff that I use um, or Loctite for when it's needed. This stuff is my favourite stuff. This is my secret uh, suspension juice. It's just silicon oil, the kind of stuff that you can get. Um, you can get it quite cheap for bulk, and they use it on sort of gym equipment, uh, treadmills, really long-lasting good stuff, and silicon-based, so it's, it's fine on your seals and stuff like that. Uh, riding shoes, odds and ends. These are all like woolly hats for when it's cold. Pads, knee pads, elbow pads, full face. Helmets, uh, goggles, 
pretty much everything really uh, I've got a bike bag behind there spare bed in case uh, anyone stays over these are the bars that came on my V10 couple of springs been playing with some spring rates got a good tie spring here a um, little bit too light though for the new bike so not going to keep hold of it now <clears throat> this is my sled uh, this is my main workhorse to be fair uh, I ride it pretty most days especially to work and everything and any sort of long rides or the stuff that I'm doing I take the sled um, got this off of another friend of mine actually um, another forces veteran uh, you might recognize the bike if you're in the know otherwise you might recognize his slogan um, but we'll save that for another day Red Bull Hardline then, that was, I can't remember which this was the second or the third one. Um, I had a, quite a bit to do with the first Hardlines. Um, a lot of the army guys did to be fair. A friend of mine was Afi's mechanic at the time. Um, and we went up and helped build um, some parts of the track. Um, and even managed to ride a small part of it. Not the big daft stuff, but yeah, we got one uplift and, and rode down. So it's a pretty cool story. Santa Cruz fan obviously we'll come back to that later and just some memories and stuff like different events that I've done and just race plates that I've kept hold of this is one of my favorites that's signed by uh, Greg Menor uh, that was actually at the same World Cup that we got that from so I put Fort William uh, different just numbers and stuff this one's the one I'm most proud of, to be fair. Um, if you know one that understands the numbers, the six is normally um, denotes like your category, and then the 15 is, or the, the last two numbers will be the places that um, you finished in the season before, as long as you did that, um, did that event previously. So highest ever national ranking, 15th in uh, Masters. This is also, I uh, keep this around just because I never know when I'm going to hurt myself again. Um, I'll tell you the story of my injury at another time. Classic. It's been stood that long, the tyres have gone flat. Luckily, I've got a decent pump to sort that out. Remember this? Well, <clears throat> watch this. Even when I take the core out, I can't adjust the tire pressure. And it's because I've got uh, one of the rat bite tire inserts in there. It seems to cover the thing. So if I put too much air in, I have to use this to re uh, or to deflate it. Anyway, check her out, man. 2020 Battleship Grey. Santa Cruz V10 Carbon Absolutely in love with this bike man It's been my dream bike For so long You know I've always gone on about them Always fanboy from Finally got one So I didn't get uh, The CC World Cup Edition uh, I think this model is called the S So it's like Uh the lower end version it doesn't come with the factory forks on it it comes with the performance elites um, and same with the shock i believe is the performance elite as well the difference is mainly with your settings um, so you still got rebound compression and everything but it's not got the same 16 clicks of high and 17 clicks of this and that which for me i'm quite happy with it doesn't really matter um, I'm more of a set and forget kind of guy anyway. Comes with a code, um, R brakes from SRAM as well, which to be fair are absolutely fucking brilliant. Um, I've managed to ride this bike twice before lockdown and I've absolutely loved it. Um, the Askai seat, um, seat tyres um, and some race face wheels, intuitive cranks. I'll probably look to upgrade these at some point. Um, they're probably quite heavy, I would imagine. Uh, e13 chain device and that so it's all pretty standard stuff 
um, it weighs about 15 and a half kilos which is about the same as my trail bike which is crazy um, love it comes with the ergon seat um, just a nice short stubby seat um, and the bars and stem I actually put on myself there off my old bike um, we're lucky enough to get like a lot of Renfold bits through ice and distribution for the team so uh, it's just something that I prefer the Burtek bars that came with it were sick but they're just not for me um, put a little decal in there just a bit of a nod to Petey and that with the old Spitfire bike that he had but yeah man, absolutely love it Okay, so I managed about a three meter manual then. Um, it's a lot harder on this, but I'll get there. I think I might throw in some footage of before lockdown actually. Enjoy. pretty much it um, I know you've just had your bike sorted out and respray and stuff like that so back to you do a bike check and let's see what you're rocking <laughs> <laughs> 